your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. People who are douche holes seem to be douche holes on every issue except for the one issue that affects them or their family in a harsh way. For example, Dick Cheney is a huge fan of fucking people over. He is an authority on ways to fuck people. His mind makes the Kama Sutra look like Dora the Explorer. He has all the ways to fuck people, trading cards, posters, and action figures. However, he is pro-gay marriage. That's the only thing. That's the only caring, empathetic, understanding, and compassionate idea in his entire fucking body. Why is he pro-gay marriage? Because his daughter is a lesbian. So that issue hits him directly. I know some guys who are hardcore right-wing law enforcement types, except they think our marijuana laws are stupid. Why? Because they smoke weed. Still other people were hard and fast supporters of every U.S. war, every chance we get to bomb the living shit out of other places, no matter the reason for it. They were down and ready to go. So many yellow ribbons on the back of their car, it could give you a sunburn. Until their son or daughter heads off to war, and all of a sudden, it does doesn't make much sense anymore. I know some people who hate Russians, except for the Russian women involved in dominatrix porn, because they're the only ones who do it right. I don't know if that last one fits on the list, but you get the point. Douche holes are douche holes until it's in their backyard. So I've got a plan. Our elected officials can keep enacting all the shitty, dickheaded, wrong-headed bills and laws they want, but from here on out, they have to propose and vote on those laws in front of the people directly affected. If they want to take rights away from women, they have to sit in front of a thousand women, look them in the eyes, and then vote for mandatory vaginal ultrasounds. If they want to end school lunches for poor kids, they have to do it in a room packed to the gills with hungry children staring them in the face. If they want to bomb Iran, then we'll pay to fly a hundred thousand soon-to-be-dead innocent Iranian civilians to Washington, D.C., and Congress can explain to them why it's better for us if they just die. And of course, this will also create some rather unusual moments, like when they vote to make fondling a donkey a federal crime, they'll have to do it in the company of half a dozen donkeys and a group of professional fondlers. And if they ever vote to better regulate the banking industry. <laughs> but if they do, it will be gripping C-SPAN to see a few hundred Wall Street millionaires quietly weeping and consoling each other. And sure, some Americans will feel a pressing maternal instinct to run to Washington and hold those bankers and pet those donkeys. But all in all, I think this plan would make for a better country and a better world. That's your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. Check out the Moment of Clarity book, ebook, and the free podcast where I interview people like Janine Garofalo, the Yes Men, and John Oliver from The Daily Show. It's all at LeeCamp.net. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.